Um, blessings to every one of you wherever you're watching from. This is Prophet Imado. Okay, okay, God bless you in the name of our Lord Jesus. Um, I, I want to just share something with us here that's going to be a blessing to us. I want you to, if there is anything you need to know about, it should be who the Holy Ghost is. Who the Holy Ghost is. You can't hear the voice of God if you don't know the person of the Holy Ghost. You can't hear the voice of you can't even you can't even have fellowship with God if you don't know the person of the Holy Ghost. Don't assume you know the Holy Ghost. You see, study about him, read about him in the scriptures, see how he operates and ask him, speak to him, tell him to to minister to you, tell him to witness to you, tell him to speak to you. You want you want to have a personal encounter with him. Okay, and 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 I'll see as a child of God, if there's anything if there's anything you should desire the most is to know the voice of God and you can't know the voice of God except you know the person of the Holy Spirit I've seen people that say who is the Holy Spirit how can the Spirit be holy you know I know these are unbelievers they don't know anything about the Spirit but see desire to know the Holy Spirit so many persons are Jesus 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 but the, you see the Holy Spirit will reveal to you what Jesus is saying the Holy Spirit is the power of God the Holy of course we know God is God Almighty the Father is Almighty the Son is Almighty the Holy Ghost is Almighty all are powerful and none is stronger or greater than the other all are equal but know the presence of the Holy Spirit you see the Holy Spirit is the one that will lead you into Christ the Holy Spirit is the one that will lead you into all things the Bible says that he will guide you into all things and he will guide you into all truths the Holy Spirit is the spirit of truth if you don't know the Holy Spirit you can never know the voice of God so if there's anything to desire desire to know the person of the Holy Spirit desire to hear the voice of the Holy Spirit desire to know how he works how he operates you understand the Bible said my sheep hears my voice my sheep knows me so if you claim to be a sheep of God and you don't hear the voice of God there's an issue if you claim to be a follower of Jesus Christ and you don't know how to hear the voice of God there's an issue if you think that the only way you can hear the voice of God is keep meeting men of God to speak over you to prophesy and tell you things what the Bible what God is saying you are lying to yourself and you can't really fully know the person of the Holy Spirit without knowing the Word of God because if you don't know the Word of God you won't, you can't be able to tell the spirit that is speaking to you I've seen people that say that the, the, the Lord is speaking to them and at the end of the we discovered that it was not the Lord it was a familiar spirit that was speaking to them because they were desperate to hear the voice of God there's nothing wrong with you being desperate to hear the voice of God but most times 80% of the time the devil will capitalize on that to speak to you and the devil can quote scriptures and make you think that it is the voice of God so know the person of the Holy Ghost spend time studying about the Holy Ghost spend time trying to know who the Holy Ghost is spend time asking the Holy Ghost to lead you into all truth spend time reading the Word of God see the, the Bible has a door yes the Bible has a door See, if the Holy Ghost does not open the door, the gates to the Word of God, you will not know what the Word of God is saying. Everything will not make sense because a carnal man cannot understand the things of the Spirit. So you need the Holy Spirit. And when you pray and ask the Holy Ghost to open the Scriptures for you, it doesn't just happen immediately. When you begin to read, you give Him time to draw you in. He has to see your desire. He has to see your motive. Then He draws you in into the Scriptures. And once He draws you into the Scriptures, the Scripture begins to become alive. You begin to see answers. The Scripture begins to answer your questions begin to solve your puzzles begin to solve your confusion and it begins to guide you into the scriptures and begin to tell you the truth in the word so learn to know the person of the holy spirit a lot of persons are ignoring the person of the holy spirit the only thing they know about the holy ghost is that they can pray in tongues calibra they pray in tongues and they don't know the fellowship of the holy ghost they don't know when to be quiet and also try to be less dramatic just try to know who the Holy Ghost is trying to understand the Holy Ghost is not a bird it's not a doe the Bible says he descended like like and the Bible recognized him as he calls him he that means the Holy Ghost is a person he can be touched can be sensed can be felt he's a he's a source of all power he's the giver of all gifts in that every single gift that you see that's manifesting is the Holy Ghost even the one that Christ gives to you you need the Holy Ghost to be able to function fully in those gifts so I want us to come to that understanding praise the Lord Jesus praise the Lord Jesus does that make sense so please if there's anything you must know is to know the person of the Holy Ghost so spend time to study and know who the Holy Ghost is Okay, get books by Kenny E. Hagen, get book by Derry Prince, get books by so many wonderful writers. Benny Hinn wrote so many wonderful books about the Holy Ghost. So get to get these books and 
intertwine with the Holy Ghost, open yourself to the Holy Ghost, He will guide you into all truth, okay? So that it reduces, see, the Holy Ghost is the one that sharpens your discernment. The Holy Ghost is the one that helps your faith. The Holy Ghost is the one that allows you to know how to pray to the Father. The Holy Ghost is the one that allows you to know how to hear the voice of God. The Holy Ghost is the one that leads you into Christ. You see, there is only one door. In the realm of the Spirit, there can be one thousand doors. The Bible said that the only way to the Father is through Jesus Christ. It's the Holy Ghost that will show you who Jesus is so that you can access the Father. You see, these things are like this. You have to access this door one to get to door two to get to door three. So you need the Holy Ghost to show you who Christ is. Don't assume you know who Christ is. When you see Christ, then you see the Father. Praise the Lord. Even the Bible said that how Jesus of Nazareth was anointed of the Holy Ghost and anointed with power. So Jesus, the Holy Ghost is the source of everything. Is a source of the life, it's a source of everything. Of course, Jesus Christ is the creator of everything. So, but I'm not here to define all those terms and everything, but know the person of the Holy Ghost. If there's anything to desire, desire to know who the Holy Ghost is. If you know the Holy Ghost, you will know how to hear the voice of God. And when you know how to hear the voice of God, you have a better relationship with the Father. God bless you. This is Prophet Emmanuel Okeke, Senior Prophet at Watchtower Prayer Network. God bless you in the name of our Lord Jesus. Shalom.